much. Well, we can tell you this, that some stores might be opening here in just a little bit. The staff at Academy Sports and some others are set to open their doors if the Tigers can pull off this win immediately after the game. Fox Carolina's Matt Koufax here in the studio with me with an update on the merchandise. So a lot of these uh, businesses watching this game pretty closely too, Matt. Yeah, absolutely, Cody. And reps at our local Dick Sporting Goods, who I actually spoke to earlier, tell me that the last time the Tigers won, the line was wrapped around the entire side of the store. I sat down with them and got a sneak peek at some of those boxes that you see behind me in this video stack with 2020 National Champions Tigers gear, which they are still hoping they can give out. It's under lock and key until the final whistle sounds. As the end of a hard-fought contest gets closer and closer, upstate stores are preparing for a potential rush. For those that didn't make it to New Orleans to watch the game tonight and you're watching locally, we want to celebrate with you. Should the Tigers pull out a victory, Aaron Holland with Dick's Sporting Goods on Woodruff Road says they've got you covered. We will actually open our doors and we'll have the official locker room gear for sale. Merchandise was wheeled in earlier today. We get a limited um, shipment. And from the moment the final whistle sounds, Greenville, Columbia, Anderson, and Rock Hill locations will be open late night to greet eager fans. We will stay open as long as fans are here or in, if we run out of merchandise. So I will say the very first year um, in 2016 when they won the national championship, we actually ran out that night. The gear is under strict supervision right now and Aaron says although it's quiet in here, that can change in a split second. Last year um, we had a line wrapped around the building uh, as soon as the game was over. So I do think if, if it feels like Clemson's going to win by the fourth quarter, people will start lining up outside. Should the Tigers fall short, the alternative is a little less fun. Whichever team loses, the merchandise is actually donated through local, um, through charities that, that donate to other countries. But with the potential for back-to-back -back titles and another sellout on the line, Aaron hopes that isn't the case. They're our local team and we absolutely are cheering for them. Fun fact, Aaron says the local store manager at Dick's is actually a huge Clemson fan. So if you do show up, expect to hear some tie your rag and celebrate with the staff at a party that can last into the morning hours. And we've seen Clemson stick around. We know that especially in the early part of the game, they proved that they can play with LSU. LSU got a little momentum into the half. So we'll see what happens, hoping that those stores can open up late to celebrate a victory. Cody, back. Matt, thanks so much. And one of the